What's up, Adele class? All right. Right now, I think I got a couple of you in. Hopefully, I get some other guys that will be popping in and watching some of the videos. Today's going to be a lot of upper body today. Um, it's basically a lot of today, right? <laughs> All right, so we're going to be using her upper body as part of our warm-up. So first thing first, let's get bowed in, hands behind the back. Ready, jump. And on the gishmas. And on the gishmas. All right, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to start ourselves in a good horse stance. And I'm just looking for basic punches. So we're looking for the hand to come to the hip and for the hand to come out. And when we're switching them, I like to see the hands coming back to the hip and it's happening at the same time. Now, you might notice some kind of shaking happening as we do this. In the beginning, you know, just show me that you can hit hard, but we're going to talk about a couple of things that are going to be involving kind of rocking. Hey. All right, so starting off with this side hand, we're going to get uh, 20 punches and we're going to go through it quick. Ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eight, nine, ten, twenty. Okay, that was pretty good. All right, so now we're gonna punch, 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 punch. So it's gonna go one, two. Okay, so I don't want the same pace. I want fast, 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 fast. This is all the way to ten. Hey, all right, ready? One, one, sir. Two, two, sir. Three, three, sir. Four, four, sir. Five, five, sir. Six, six, sir. Seven, seven, sir. Eight. Eight, sir. Nine. Nine, sir. And ten. Yeah. Okay. Two. Might as well do three. Eight. Okay. So that means you're going to be switching. There's going to be a little bit of uh, coordination with this. Is that when you go punch, 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 the other hand to go is the one that's on the hip still. Right. Okay. All right. So it's going to go three Eight. birthday candles. Say, sir. Okay. Here it goes. Start with this hand out. This one's going to punch first. Ready? One. One, sir. Two. Two, sir. Three. Three, sir. Four. Four, sir. Five. Five, sir. Six. Six, sir. Seven. Seven, sir. Eight. Eight, sir. Nine. Nine, sir. And ten. Get out. Good. All right. Take your arms out. Don't want to get them all filled up with lactic acid. Eight. Okay. Keep it up at home. All right. So now, same kind of thing that we're going to do with our feet is we're going to consider that we're going to rock. So we're going to pick up that foot and land it. Pick up the foot and land it. I'm going to turn my feet to the side a little bit. I'm going to be picking up my heel because I want to drop my heel down. One, two, okay? All right, so when I'm chambering, I'm gonna pick up that foot. Same way as I'd be lining up like, uh, kaboom, and then you'll notice that that heel comes off the ground. So we'll talk about why is it acceptable and why I don't have my youngsters doing this or the ones that don't understand what that means. Because right. it's important that, you know, this would be no good when that heel comes off the ground. We'll talk about that in a second. Okay, so heel off the ground and punch. Heel off the ground and punch. Okay, hey. all right, let's get uh, 10 of those. Just a single punch, by the way. So, all right, I'm foot and hand agree. Ready? One, one, one sir. Two, 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 sir. Three, three, sir. Four, four, sir. Five, five, sir. Six, six, sir. Seven, ten, sir. Eight, eight, sir. Nine, nine, sir. And ten. Good. Good. All right, you notice that when I'm landing, I'm striking, I'm putting my body into it. So, we're going to take out the punches. See, sir. And all we're going to do is we're going to put our hands on the hips. Hey. We're going to pick it up. And we're gonna bring it down and up and down. And it's kind of like, you know, a little shimmy, shimmy, cocoa pop. Okay. All right, so just pick up the heel, land it, and bring the shoulder forward. Heel, shoulder forward. Heel, shoulder forward. Okay, let's get 10 of them quick. Right. Ready? One, one, sir. Two, two, sir. Three, three, sir. Four, four, sir. Five, five, sir. Six, six, sir. Seven, seven, sir. Eight, eight, sir. Nine, nine, sir. And 10. Yeah. I probably felt awkward not punching. All right, but in reality, we're gonna. Pick up that heel when we make that, 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 I'm going to say that the contact, the goal is, is to put weight behind that move. So when I pick up that foot, I'm putting weight behind it. Okay. We'll talk more of that in a second. All right. Now let's change locations here. Hey. All right. So now let's uh, put ourselves in this line right here. Sorry, sir. So I'm going to put you right here hey. facing that way. All right. So now we're going to do 12, we'll call it six types of punches. Six times two is 12. So we're gonna be, there'll be a total of 12 punches that you're gonna to learn today that you may or may not have learned, or maybe you've learned a couple of them. Maybe you didn't know a name behind it or whatever, uh, but either way, it's gonna kind of expand your mind a little bit. So first things first, let's consider that there's a jab. Right. I'm sure you've all heard of a jab. Okay, this is not one of the ones where you're gonna like, you know, knock someone's block off. You're not gonna go, here's a jab. It's not gonna have a whole lot of power behind it, but it's gonna have some speed. Okay, so for now, we're just gonna practice this, the front hand jab, and he's gonna be moving forward, and that's what you're gonna do at home. Just a single punch, all right, five times. Ready? One, one, sir, two, two, sir, three, three, sir, four, four, sir, five, kill. Kind of looks like white belt number one, doesn't it? Right. Okay, 
So then wipe on number two. This is the other side for now. Let's just consider that this is a jab two, okay? All right, because we're gonna do this from a four states eventually. All right, backhand now, same thing. One, one, sir, two, two, sir, three, three, sir, four, four, sir, five, yeah. Okay, slide back. Hey, you notice that he's not cocking back a whole lot, okay? All right, uh, give me a, one of those haymaker punches that's coming through. Oh, okay, all right, well, I mean, you go slow, do that again. All right, look at this, look at this position. Heels coming up the ground. This has power behind it. That's not what I want. That's not what I want on a jab. I'm going to go bang. When he cocks back like that, I'm going to hit him fast and quick and probably light. So the jab is not designed for power that way. Okay. Uh, in boxing, you know, oh, he's got the jab. You know, you're trying to, you know, I'm not throwing that big. Speaking of the big one, we're going to throw this punch as a cross. Okay. So first thing was a jab, jab, cross, cross, not a hook. Not this. We're gonna follow, follow across the body like this, okay? Right. All right, and so it's gonna cross the center line. As a matter of fact, let's, there we go, perfect. All right, so you're gonna notice on the camera that his punch is gonna cross this line, okay? So give me uh, two of them. So one, two, okay, crossing the line. Okay, when I count one, show me those two punches. We'll get five of them. Ready, one, one, sir, go ahead. two, two, sir, three, three, sir, four, Four, sir. And five. Good. Very good. Okay. Now show them from, a, let's just put in a horse dance position. Right. Just so we can see the difference between the jab and the cross. Okay. So give me a punch, punch, jab, jab. Right. Pop, pop. Go ahead. Pop, pop. Go ahead. A little slower. One, two. Now show me the cross. One, two. Everyone see the difference in the shoulders? He's turning the shoulders. Okay. One more time. Jab, jab. One, two. Cross, cross. Boom, boom. Okay. So now we're going to add to this thing here. We're going to put more turn on the shoulder. We're gonna turn this thing into a hook punch. Now, when we do a hook punch, I, I've seen lots of crazy hook punches and lots of crazy uppercuts in my day. All right, so I'm gonna put you here just to give you an example of what I'm talking hey. about. All right, ready? Oh, you know, it's like, oh, I gotta get you a good one. All right, I gotta tag you. Oh, there we go. Well, I mean, it had a hooking motion. It might have looked good in the movies, but it doesn't have a whole lot of alignment. Key term, alignment. So let's make sure that we're like Popeye the Sailor Man, okay? So you got your little, uh, you know, ship and your biceps and the 90 degree angle. Very important. Okay. So when I'm doing this, I'm going to turn you this way. When I make that hook punch, this line right here is going to make that connection. It's not going to go past that. It's going to maintain, it's going to maintain that. Okay. All right. So when we're throwing this hook punch, I want you to think to yourself that that right there is going to have a good line. And you'll notice that my heel comes off the ground. Okay. All right, can you give him a slow punch? Hey, turns, zoop, good. Heel comes off the ground. Don't go too far. To the side, turn, bang, just like that. Okay, everyone got the hook punch at home? All right, so, and uh, don't let it go too far away. Just you keep the 90 degree. All right, so we get five, so you're gonna go hook punch, hook punch. Yes, sir. all right. Um, let's see that heel one more time. You know what? Forget the hook punch for a second. Just give me the footwork, okay. Put your hands in your hips. Hey. All right, give me a turn, turn. Slow. Slow Daniel Sun. Say Slow so. Daniel Sun. All right. There's the heel. There's the heel. Let go of that ground. Go slower. Turn. The ball of the foot stays. The heel comes off the ground. As he turns, the heel comes off this side. And that foot stays. Okay? So if it turned out that this right here was to continue, he'd have to take a step, which is fine. Because when we throw a hook punch, we got lots of power behind this thing. Honestly, the harder you hit, the more your body's going to go with it. If it turns out you take a step, just don't fall on your face. Right, but I want power behind that thing. I want to see that. I mean, if I was to throw that hook punch, I'm going to go, boom! It's done. Right. Okay, not, oh, I stepped. Oopsie daisy. Doesn't matter to me. Yes. Okay, all right, so let's get five hook punch, hook punches. Okay? All right, ready? One. One. One, sir. One, sir. Two. Two, sir. Three. Three, sir. Four. Four, sir. And five. Get up. How many punches are we at so far? Three. Three different types of punches. Okay. So now, I would like to see the same kind of thing. I would like to see a jab, jab, a uh, cross, cross, and a hook, hook. All right, go ahead. Let's see. Thank jab, jab, cross, cross, hook, hook. Good. All right, we're going to sidestep from this just for a second. We're going to come back to it in a second. So let's do that one more time just to make sure everyone's got it at home. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, everyone got all six of those? Thumbs up. Excellent. All right, come on over. Hey. All right, now, 
let's revisit a little bit of last week's discussion. So, all right, we're going to come back to the punches in a second. Does anybody remember what we talked about last week about my die and maybe something else? Rye. Okay, let's go over to the board. Hey, we've got, got lots of stuff from last class. I'm just going to take this portion right here. Hopefully they all wrote it down. Okay. They're gonna, we're going to connect dots here. My, die, and rye. Now, I'm not asking you guys all to shout out on your, on your uh, video here. But this one was distance. This one was angle. And you're going to see how it's going to apply today. And this was integrated system. And this is the one we didn't get to last Thursday because we had so much fun with the first two. Okay. So we're going to consider this that in any situation, that I should have good distancing and angling no matter what it is that I'm gonna hit with or what I'm being hit with, right. okay? So let's put ourselves on the spot right here. So sure. All right, and we're gonna consider three different types of situations. They're all gonna be dealing with having to move. They're all gonna be having to deal with angling. Sure, sure. All right, now let's use something long range, right. okay? So let's consider a, a snap kick. Right. All right, so when I'm throwing the punch and he's moving out of the way, he needs to be at the appropriate distance for his own kick. And we're not going to hit each other like that, but we're going to be close enough that way we can. Right. And then he's got to be at the right angle so he doesn't get hit. Okay. So uh, move at an angle that uh, we're going to be able to see your position. So off that step of your punch, he moves, and he does that. Bang, just like that. Hit it one more time. Moves, and then there's an angle, just like that. So his angle was appropriate. So now, at home, we're going to do that side step and snap kick. Right. Okay. Towards the camera here. Sure. All right. So when I count one, show me that you have that angle. And show me that you got the kick for your distance. Right. All right, five times. Ready? One. One, sir. Good. All right, move the other way. Right. Two. Two, sir. Good. Move back at a slight angle. Three. Three, sir. And maybe, maybe move forward a little bit. Four. Four, sir. Last one. Any direction you want. And five. Two. Okay. All right. Let's up the ante just a little bit, make it a little bit more long range. Right. Okay, so snap kick. I mean, you know, extend that leg just for a second. All right, so he knows the distance of there we go. He likes his slow kicks. He's got some pretty good distance here, so I'll have you put that down. If it turned out that he was, I was this close, he'd probably change how he does the snap kick. Right? He thing, how, he doesn't mean like, you know what, I can't do a snap kick from here. No, he'd probably pick up his knee instead and go for a knee shot, but it's still part of a snap kick. He would change his distance. All right, so now let's make it a skip and side kick. So he's like, you're gonna cover some serious distance. Right? All right, so move out of the way a little bit too much, and then look at why he would feel the need for a side kick. Okay, here it comes. Ready? All right, now, get to extend your leg for me. Can't get me. He knows that. You know that. Skip inside. Whoa! Understand? Okay. One more time. Right. Move. Skip inside. Okay. You gotta know from that distance that I, I'm just not in position. All right, let's see the imaginary punch. Move off to the side. Skip inside. One and two. Face towards the camera. So, sir, move off to the imaginary punch. One and two. You have to skip in from that distance. You're too far away. Five times. So, sir, if you don't know how to do a skip and side kick, then you move and you get yourself close enough to where you can fire the side kick. Check your distance. Okay? And here it goes. Let's get five of those. Hey, one. One, sir. Good. Move a different angle. Two. Move close enough to where you can get it. Two, sir. Move a different angle. Three. Three, sir. And four. Four, sir. And five. Two. Good. Okay, so we had a back leg snap kick. We had a skip and side kick because we had to cover more distance. Let's get a little bit closer to a shorter range. Right. All right, so what would be a shorter range technique, Mr. Ben? Well, wait a second. We're going to get to that. Say it. We're going to feed back into these punches. Say it. So not quite a snap kick. Not quite short on a like the, the shortest we're gonna get to. A jab. A jab. Okay, so all right, so extend the leg. All right, all right, extend the hand somewhere in the middle. Okay. Well get that, that, that we're gonna get there. My camera, my camera person, camera person like that is uh, giving me some ideas about her favorite technique. We're gonna get to that. All right, that's short, short range. All right, so back to that example. This snap kick, punch is somewhere in the middle. Good. All right. All right, move too far away, Mr. Ben. Say so. He's never gonna make it. That's a skip and sidekick distance. Right. All right, so he throws out the punch, he doesn't have it. So he's gonna have to 
compensate for that. Yes, sir. So, you got two different solutions for that. Number one, move, get closer, right? or don't go so far away in the first place. Yes, sir. Make, it, make a good choice, okay? Or right, move out of the way at just the right distance and make it sweet where your right brain, right here. Oh, it's, it's there. One more time, one more time. All right, ready? Here comes, ready? Freeze frame. That's right, take a picture. All right, I'm gonna be spinning out my chiclets here. Okay, so when you guys are choosing the distance and integrating the two together, you have to think about where you're at and where they're at. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna put you back in front of the camera. So you said, so we're moving off to the side, we got that dad going forward. Like, feel free at home to move out of the way. They have to come in or be at the, at the sweet distance. You know what? Not, we're never perfect. Yes, we always have to make adjustments. All right, five times, move and strike. Ready? One, up. one, sir. Go ahead, different angle. Two, two, sir. Go ahead, like that one. Three, three, sir. Set, four. Four, sir. Last one. Five. Two. And reset. Okay. So let's start with that skip and side kick. So you put your face in towards me. You get a little bit further away. Lots of distance. Get the side kick. Go ahead. Neural. Boom. Lots of distance. Okay. Uh, let's do uh, a back leg sound kick because that covers just a little bit less distance. Right. Okay. And then we have ourselves a jab. Okay. So it's getting shorter and shorter and shorter. Right. Did everyone see that? Right. Okay. We're going to get to yours in a second, Miss Julia. All right. She's holding the camera. All right, so now let's say that this hook punch, we're working back towards the punch. All right, so this hook punch, look how, look how short range this is. I mean, this is like right there. Let's turn towards the camera here, okay? That's not very much distance. Turn that way, Mr. Ben. Okay. Look how close that is to him. Okay, I'm gonna get a little bit, you know, I'm breaking social distancing right now. Here goes. All right, put your hands down. Yes, What's up, man? What's up? You got beef? All right, come on now. All right, this is a bad position for me, okay? Because when he throws that punch, I'm really, really close, but I've got techniques for that, okay? Now, I'm not punching or anything like that, but you see that this is a sweet spot for his hook, okay? All right, so let's uh, face it towards that direction, Tight. okay? And you're still gonna have to move because of the distancing, but in this case, you might be in the perfect distance. The angle might be perfect. You might not be in the perfect distance. The angle might not be perfect. You get to choose. So I'm still gonna throw a punch, Mr. Ben's gonna put himself in that that close proximity, yes, and then let's see where the hook punch would lie. Okay, slow. Zoom. Bang. Okay. All right. We like it close. We like it like right up in their drill. All right. Two more. So slow. Boom. Oh. All right. That, that low hook is gonna come. Last one, ready? Here it goes. Bang. And it's really really close. All right. Can you give the camera some? Jason. Okay. Move. Hook punch. Give me this. Give me that angle. All right, here it comes. Five more. Ready? One. One set. Good. Move different angle. Two. Two set. Good. Good. And three. Three set. Set. Four. Four set. And last one. Move and five. Two. Oh, there you go. There you go. All right. Miss Joanna likes her headbutts. There's nothing better than a headbutt right across the face. There's nothing to say, I love you more than a headbutt in your face. It's really short range. It's really short range. Um, I'll tell you some stories later about Miss Joanna and I when I gave her a head button. <laughs> it was close enough to, you know, put some grease on her face, but she is good at it. So we're gonna apply them. So we're really, really close. Right? And it might be so close that his hook punch might be limited and all he has, I mean, yeah, you could probably still get away with right. that. Um, but we're talking like in terms of distance, I mean, um, Grab my hand tap. Yes. One back there, one either one. All right, so in terms of distance, you don't need a whole lot of distance for this to work. You just need to make sure you hit with the right part so you don't knock yourself flat, right. okay? Um, so let's talk about the forehead for just a second. All right, Not like that. This is no, <laughs> no, <laughs> you're gonna knock yourself out. All right, uh, well, I'll teach you how to do that when you get into black belt class. All right, um, this is also a no. Think of it like this, um, people that are uh, balding or are bald, there's a ring that they have on their head. And that ring, typically hair will grow from here unless they're completely. Um, and there's energy there. So I want you to think to yourself about this ring. It goes all the way to the front. And I'm going to use that as a almost like a cutting action. So I'm going to strike with it. But I'm not going to hit my temple against the target. So the goal is, is to make sure that you're hitting with a portion of that ring, like it's a crown almost. Hey. Okay. All right. So if this was his head, I just hold it up there. Hey. And we're this close. Bang, okay? I'm, I'm turning my head, I'm setting my neck, and I'm making sure that I'm not going to, you know, hit my face, my nose, okay? And I'm turning my body into it, and I know it sounds weird to say, but 
I'm using a lot of guts. Okay, it's not just this. That's what you know ducks do. <laughs> okay, all right. Um, or chickens. So I'm using my my body. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna hit it. Ready? Bam! Like that. I'm gonna put my whole body into it. All right. So, Mr. Ben. Yes, sir. Can you give me a, an imaginary punch? Get out of the way and show me the headbutt at the appropriate angle and distance. Yes, sir. All right. So. His guards might not be up. His guards might be down. I don't know where they're at, but he's going to move. Here comes, ready? Head butts, key out five. One. One, sir. Good. Two. Two, sir. Three. Two, sir. Good. Four. Four, sir. And last one. Five. Good. Oh, give me a hand. Nice job. Did you see head butts at home, Mr. Randy? Were there head butts? Good work, gentlemen. All right. Is Zoe still part of class? <laughs> Good work, Zoe. All right, and for any other uh, parents and adults that are taking class after this has been videoed, um, work those headbutts. Um, one real quick thing: don't go, you know, all cavalier and say, "I'm going to go practice this on something." <laughs> um, you should see Mr. Randy when he does his neck drills; it's insane. I'll, ha I'll have him show that to you later. But you need to make sure that you have a strong neck to be able to use that head. So if you don't practice this, then you're just going to have like a a punch that's not able to be set. Hey. And you're going to go hurt yourself and you'll, you'll scratch something. All right, guess what? We're back to close range. So now we're going to move back over to that side and work those uh, punches. Hey. All right, so who remembers those punches? You remember the first six punches? Say, hey, say. All right, go slow. Hey. You got a jab and got a jab. You got a cross and a cross. And you got a hook and a hook. All right, one more time. Hey. Ready? One, two, three, four. Five, six. Okay. So now we're going to work ourselves down. So now we're going to punch them right in the bladder. Okay. I'm going to face you this way here like this. So I'm going to go boom like this right down towards the gut. Okay. And my heel comes off the ground when I rotate. So and I'm going to go here. Bang. Like that. Bang. Like that. Okay. All right. So the first ones were high. The next ones were crossing. The next ones were hooking. And now we're changing levels. Coming down, kind of like a downward punch. Yes, sir. Okay, facing towards the camera. Hey. All right, so this is just the downward punch going back and forth. All right, he has a five. Yes, sir. All right, put yourself on a horse. Hey. And goes one. One, sir. Two. Two, sir. Three. Three, sir. Four. Four, sir. And five. Kill. Excellent. Keep it at home. Keep it up. Very good. All right, what was the first two? Jab. Jab. Hey. Hook. Cross, cross, cross. Hook. 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 All right. Now, this is like, um, you know, I guess you call it an aim, um, you know, like, like a, a downward punch. We're going to make some a low rips in a second. Right. Okay. But this one right here is kind of, it's not a shovel punch. It's a shovel punch is right. 12. All right. This one, I, I just consider like a, a low cross. Right. Okay. Cross on the body. So it's not not a jab, not like a, oh, God, I got gotcha. you. Not one of those little shots that you give your best friend just to see how, what they do. Right. This is one of those that has power behind it. Okay. All right. So we got four techniques now. Right. All right. So we might as well do the uppercut. Um, yes, sir. Oh, we might as well do the uppercut. So we went high, low, back up. Right. All right. So, um, aha. That is not an uppercut. Okay. <laughs> and if you ever played Street Fighter, you know, so are you can, you know, <laughs> all right. You know, <laughs> it's not done that. And in, in, in there, you don't have to say, so you can. You never even understood what they said. So you can. <laughs> You've got to figure it out. All right. So this is super important. We're going to go back to the legs. And this is what's going to make an uppercut. These, this turn right here, I'm going to use that twist of my hip in this leg. This is going to be a lot. I'm going to use that twist and fire with that back leg. So as I rotate, bang, I'm going to use that drive of my hips to make sure the punch has something forcing it. It's not arm. It's all hips. Okay. Uh, grab two clappers. Hey. Okay. So when we throw this, I would like to, oh, to dig deep. So you're gonna come down, boom, Foo. All right, imagine this goes right here, right underneath, or even better yet, underneath the armpit. You know, the jaw. Okay, uh, if they're if he's bent over, you know, boom like this. Oh man, it's 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 all lovey dovey stuff, isn't right. it? Okay. All right, so I'm gonna take these guys. Let's see how Mr. Ben's uppercut is. I don't want it any higher than your shoulders. You're gonna hurt yourself. Okay. All right, so just crossing the body, uppercuts. Boom, good. Okay, one time. One, two, more, more upward motion. Okay. 
There we go. Okay, you notice, oh, there we go. You notice I go super slow and I get full, fully vertical. Right. So try not to send it here, okay? Because you want 100% of that force to go right vertically into the target. Um, you know, I don't know if you like uppercutting someone's jaw. Careful there. I'd rather palm it myself. Um, the ribs, definitely, okay? All right, so one more time. One, two, just like that. All right, facing towards the camera. Right. Give it to me. One and two, okay? Give me a little bit more on the, the dip down. Yes, sir. Make it exaggerated. Right. <laughs> Everyone see that at home? Okay. Five of them. Sorry, sir. When I count one, show me two uppercuts. Here it goes. Ready? One. <laughs> one, sir. Two. <laughs> two, sir. Three. <laughs> Three, sir. Four. <laughs> Four, sir. And five. Good oh, very nice. Very nice. Okay, we know we're gonna come back each time. All right. Jab, jab. Hi. Cross, cross. Hook, yes, sir. hook. Low cross. Up and cut, up and cut. Hi. All right. This is technique number one. Go ahead. One, and two, and three, and four, and five. Go ahead. All right. So when you're thinking to yourself about this, uh, it, you know, each of these are changing levels. You've got yourself a whole lot of dynamic of twist. Don't forget that. And, and I'll, I'm going to give some homework actually involving this with, with form. So keep that in mind. All right. So now when we're thinking about how this punch is going to go, we want to make sure that um, we're considering the target. Okay. What am I going to hit with this? I'm going to face it this way. Right. Okay. So, you know, forget the fact that we're in a horse stance. So let's just stand, you know, kind of like normal human beings. Right. Okay. All right. You know, hey, man, hey, man. So, bang! You know, that, that, that punch right there is for speed, and it's more than likely I'm gonna hit something that's around here. Right. Okay, um, let's put this in context. Um, you've got some kind of upset, and you're, uh, you're, you're, definitely, you're definitely looking like there's gonna be a situation here. Right. And I can't make decisions for you, but you know it's imminent that you're gonna have a situation that you're gonna have to deal with. Right. I don't believe in preemptive striking. However, if you're ready to take a broken bottle over my head or something like that, then I, I might have myself more real situation right. and I might have to be first to hit sorry, sorry. okay so that's where I'd be like you know boom I'm gonna throw something fast with that kind of technique right. okay um, again I'm not trying to start a situation all right everyone should be clear on that okay next on this cross this cross is a great it, again it's not a hook you know it's a bang like this I can I can use this right. I can use this cross motion as a matter of fact if he's throwing the punch this cross works really really good as a means of crossing lines all right, this, this is no longer a, a jab for me, at least. I'm putting a little bit of power behind it. Right. Okay, jab is like, you know, static, bah, bah. okay? So the cross is gonna be like, boom, okay? All right, and again, it might seem like a hook, but it's not a hook. Right. Okay, hook, I think we understand where that hook kind of plays a role, right. okay? This low cross, all right, man, I love this thing. Okay, I'm gonna be punched with this hand right here. So I'm just gonna go, boom, like this right towards his belt, okay? All right, where's that? Hi. All right, uh, I'll have you punch with this hand, so step that foot back, let me go super slow. Okay, so I'm gonna move out of the way, and I, I got a great target right here, all right? So I can say, I'm gonna take that punch, and I'm gonna go bang, right into that side, all right? It's a downward drop, I'm putting weight into it, all right? Uppercut. All right, so I'm gonna have you punch with this hand. All right, moving out of the way, and armpit is right there. Boom, right into it, picking up the heel, just giving you some ideas about where this would apply. Hi. All right. Not limited. Please don't think these are limited to these particular uh, situations. Right. Okay, so um, we're going to add actually another additional one to this. We're going to give them the low hook. Yes, sir. And then we're going to actually have 13 in total as opposed to 12. We're going to get a bonus one. No, we'll, we'll see. All right, here it goes. All right, so now we had the, the punch, the, the jab, jab, the cross, or the cross, cross, the hook, hook. All right, the low cross, the low cross, the uppercut, the uppercut. We're going to go back down again and we're going to put in a low rip. Right. Okay, so arms out, Mr. Anatomy. This is where I want this punch. So here, I'm gonna go, whoop, this right there. Don't get headbutted, right. okay? All right, so I wouldn't do it standing in front of him, all right? If he was to punch with this hand, and I'm moving out of the way, bang, that's my low hook. Right. It's not here anymore. It's down here, and I'm being very earthy in that posture. Yes, sir. Okay, all right, can you show that towards the camera? Say, sure. Okay, so hunker down, whoop, whoop, good, all right. Right after that floating rib. I want, I'm gonna take that and have some spare ribs for dinner. <laughs> All right, here goes. All right, give me five. Double, right. low hooks. Ready, go. There's one. One, sir. Two. Two, sir. Three. Three, sir. Four. Four, sir. And five. Two. Very good. All right. How are they doing at home, Mr. Randy? 
They're jabbing and crossing. Excellent. All right. Got all of those so far? Yes, sir. All right. Let's see the, the jabs all the way to the low hooks. Yes, sir. Jab, jab, cross, cross, hook, hook, low cross, low cross, uppercut, uppercut, low hook, low hook. Slower. One more time for everyone. Try to stay up with Mr. Ben. Go slow. Thank you. All right. So there's your jabs. There's your crosses. There's your hooking motion. All right. There's your low punches. Here's your uppercuts. And here's your low hooks. Okay. So far, so good. Almost there. Excellent. All right. So now we're going to go way up top. All right. Like, is it not quite Superman punch, if you've ever heard that before, but it's going to be pretty close. Okay. We're going to call this a shovel punch. Uh, learned this, uh, this punching set many, many years ago when one of our black belts, Jason Cambria, uh, studied Jeet Kune Do for his third degree black belt project. And this, they have stuck with me since. Um, so these are very, very, uh, again, it's like, this is like on the top, the, the, the end punch. Right? Okay. So from, for posture wise, think of it like you're coming over the top. Now, um, I'm going to uh, preface this by saying you're, you're not going like this. All right, what's wrong with this picture is my arm is above my shoulder and I'm putting pressure and dynamic into this arm and it's going to end up, and I, it's, it's going to get injured. So, okay, especially if I put power behind it. So when I'm doing this, I'm going to keep everything in line. See this? My shoulders are tilted, okay? So that way my punch is in line and my shoulder is in line. Make sense? Okay, not this. As a matter of fact, I hear a quick kitty crack, kitty crack, kitty Okay, me and my old shoulders here. All right, uh, let's give them an example about how this is going to work. All right, so I'm moving it right here like this. I'm going to go here, bang, on that jaw. Even better yet, all right, let's pull them down. Bang. Understand? Hey. Okay. All right, so this motion right here, coming down, is what I'm looking for. Hey. All right, so how are we going to do this double? So we're going to come across. There's one, and there's two. Give me that heel. Give me that heel. Okay. Hey. Slow. One and two. One, sir. One, sir. Let's get four more. Ready? Two. Two, sir. Three. Three, sir. Four. Four, sir. And five. Put weight into it. Good work. Two, up. Good. Okay. How many do we have now? Thirteen. Thirteen. Both sides for each, right? Correct. Total. It should be 14. Is it 14? So you have seven punches. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> the math is strong. That's the math is strong with the one, this one here. Okay. All right. Yes, you're correct. It is 14. All right. This is live. Of course we can do this. All right. Here it goes. All right. Show me, <laughs> show me some, show me 14 punches. Yes, sir. Time. You did say that earlier, didn't you? All right. Here it goes. All right. Jab, jab, cross, cross, hook, hook, low cross, uppercut, low hook, shovel. Boom. Boom! Oh man, is up for the count. One, two, and then they're out. Okay. All right. So we're gonna get all fourteen, and it's gonna go slow, medium, and fast. So yeah, this is how homework's gonna go. All right. Give me a slow version. Jab, jab, cross, cross, hook, twist, low, low, uppercut, uppercut, low hook, low hook, shovel. Okay, that was in the beginning, nice and slow. So let's go medium pace now. All right, ready? Go. Jab, jab, cross, cross, hook, hook, low, low, upper, upper, low hook, low hook, shovel, shovel. Now let's go crazy pants. Hey. Okay, that's what I said to my kid. Are you crazy pants today? So are you crazy pants? Sir? Say yes, sir. Let me crazy pants speed. All right, ready? Go. Boom, 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 boom. boom. Yeah, yeah. Woo, woo. <laughs> yeah. Did you keep up with that? Did they keep up with that? Yeah, they stopped. If you get Mr. Andy to make that smirk, you know, <laughs> and if they got it, then well done. Well done. Excellent. Are you guys having fun? Thumbs up. Good. Okay. Even if you're not having fun, I want you to work hard and work through the sweat. All right. Here goes. Ready for some application now. All right. Back to my Mr. Kevin creation. Thank you. Mr. Kevin, thank you for this idea. It was working wonders. All right. Might I ride? This is ride. So every single time that you're practicing each of these techniques, you need to consider distance. You've got to consider your angle. And you've got to consider that um, there's another person here. I had a, a, a lesson with uh, someone recently that we were talking about. We can't just consider ourselves. We have to consider the other person. And that's what we do in our forms, too. So every single time we practice a form, 
and we're trying to decide what we're going to do with each of those moves, I have to consider there's a side B to this, kind of like uh, you know some of our forms like patchouli. There's always a side B. Some forms actually give us the other person, but Tegok does not. Basic form does not give us that. You need to create that in your mind. So, all right, so here's the homework. First thing is very basic, all right, is that I've got each of these punches, 14 total, seven on each, all right, is that I'm going to consider the move out of the way. Bah! Moving out of the way. That was my jab, okay? My cross. Phew! Okay? Different. Look at the footwork. Jab. I'm going to tap. I'm going to get you out, all right? I'll put you right here for a second. All right, angle just a little bit just for this joint there. All right, so when he's throwing that punch, I'm gonna go bang. It's gonna be quick. Not this per se, okay? I'm not gonna make it a hook, but it is gonna be a cross, okay? Bang, I'm coming across the body, crossing center line. That's what I think about cross. So if I'm punching here, I'm typically, you know, coming to center, crossing, I'm gonna cross. And I, in, in Wing Chun, we have two different lines. And we got the center line here. Anytime my arms can cross, they'll line up with the center. But they'll reach a point where I can't cross them any further. I'd have to turn towards it in order for them to cross, okay? And so when I think about my crossing punch, is I'm crossing center line, okay? And when I do a hook, it's still lined up though. Yes, sir. Okay, when I do a jab, it's kind of biased towards one side, just to give you some de definition here from, from my perspective. Sorry, sir. Okay, so your jab, bang, your cross, bang, my hook, boom. See that there's a draw there, all right? And it's a big move. Don't telegraph this thing. He's going to see this thing coming. If he's like, you know, what's up? And I go like this, I, he's going to jab me. This is, you know what? If you were going to use a, a hook like this, Mr. Ben will appreciate this. He throws the punch, okay? Boom, okay? I tag him to the gut. Boom, I'm going to throw that punch. I need him set up for that. I can't telegraph it. I know you appreciate that. <laughs> all right. Love our attendance, right? Okay. All right, uh, so after our, our hook, we have ourselves a low punch. Okay, again, so I'm just gonna go, bah! I'm getting out of the way. I'm hunkering down. Again, if he's throwing that punch, boom, I'm gonna get my, my body low. It doesn't have to, you know, this looks so generic. I mean, if he's throwing that punch, I can't just go like this. He's gonna eat me, okay? So I think to myself, get low, bang, tag that thing. Oh, there's a hit. Okay, all right, so jab, cross, hook, low cross. Okay, uppercut. When I'm going here, bang. You notice I'm moving my body to the side. Okay, and of course you got the other side too. Hey. Okay, low hook. Okay, this one will feel like this one, but it's down here. So I'm gonna move out of the way and firing that low hook right into the ribs, right here. Okay, hey. and then lastly the shovel punch. You might have to say I gotta move something out of the way. Yes. Go ahead and watch right here. So I'm moving something out of the way. Bang. Right to the jaw. Okay. Homework number one, hey. moving out of the way. Say so. All right, all right. Everyone understand at home? Homework number one is all seven of those punches with a sidestep involved. Make sense? Hey. All right, and then the next one, since we're getting close on time, is I'd like to see a form that involves some punching beyond just simply, well, this is the punch that I got shown. So, uh, give me a form that has lots of punches. Take it three, good choice. Say so. Okay, good. Chitty up. Go to Chumbi. Hey. All right, down block, ready? Hey. Okay, now give me two punches that don't look like this. So you got a bunch of choices now. All right, go slow. Hey. Kick. Bam, bam. Oh, I like that. Take it three. Give me two different. Hey. Down block on the side. Two different ones. Go ahead. Oh, bang, bang. Okay, so you guys get the idea. Pick a form that has lots of punches. You know, I mean, I know you could do an advanced form like take it seven. But I really want something that's got, you know, the dynamic that punches have. And uh, if you pick a form that's got a lot of, uh, you know, uh, double hand moves, you'll find the punches aren't very, very much part of that. So, um, you know, basic form's got punches. Uh, take it form's got lots of punches. Take it two, definitely. Uh, take it three. Take it four, you start getting out of these punches. Take it eight has some punches, okay? So uh, basic to take it three seem to be like, you know, a punch dominant. Right. Um, but then later on, later on those forms, they start getting into other moves. So, but... Again, forms up to you. I like to see some application on those punches and uh, make it your own. Hey. First technique is get out of the way. Show me all seven of those punches. Second version of the market, show me a form with some dynamic movements. So, sure. Any questions at home from you guys? Any last words of wisdom, comments, concerns? And then one real quick thing. A thumbs up, Mr. Randy? All right, excellent. I hope you guys got a workout today. A um, couple things. 
if you ever are concerned about what that homework assignment is, and I've already said it in this last class, but I'll say it for the people that are watching that are watching it after this has been recorded live, is when you watch the video and you are concerned about what the homework is, beneath your video, there's a section that has a little drop down arrow, or it might say see more. And that allows you to look at it. I make a description for every single class, including the name of the class, the instructors, and the homework assignment, generic in nature, because I want you to watch the video. I don't want to see that you're taking the assignment and saying, oh, I, I, yeah. But when you do take the class, please make sure you put your comment, uh, put your name at the comment section so I know that you took class. It's not for me. Uh, it, 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 it hurts my heart when I don't see you in class. Um, but that's not a, a, an ego thing. That's a, I, I want you to benefit. I'm not making these things for me. I'm making these things for you. And the feedback videos that you guys send us videos and we're feeding back to you, that's not for me. That's to make you better. So please make sure that when you uh, produce this, um, that uh, you give me everything that you got, and I'm gonna give you everything that I got. Okay, that's what we're here for. Okay, all right, well done today, guys. We missed you. We'll see you guys soon. Chip, thank you for teaching me.